Hey everybody, uh, just a quick update, uh, it's Sunday afternoon, evening, uh, just a little before 6 o'clock. Um, update wise, everything is as it is, everything went well with all my appointments on Monday. Um, I got word from insurance, not from insurance, from my surgical group that everything is, has been uh, received and submitted to insurance that should have been submitted um, this past Friday, just a couple of days ago. So, um, so based on that, kind of playing the waiting game. Um, they said that most cases takes about 10 to 14 days. Um, I think I mentioned it before, from their past experience with my insurance, it's usually been a faster turnaround, uh, decision-wise. What that means, what kind of time frame, could it be a week, a week and a half, I, mean, I don't know. So, um, just the anxiousness, knowing that, I mean, it's, at this point, you, you know, done. Um, like I said, the EGD is set for, sorry, set for September 10th, um, Hopefully that shouldn't have any sort of issue. Like I said, ideally I'm looking to have this done on September 23rd. Um, obviously pending insurance and what the schedule is looking like. Um, so, you know, kind of playing the waiting game. Um, it's, you know, this past week especially, now that all of my requirements are done, I've really had a chance to kind of look back on, you know, what I've, what I've been doing over the past six months. Um, had a chance to start looking around a little more on the uh, um, looking and checking out other channels in the uh, you know not just weight loss community because I've been a part of a you know weight loss community of friends for several years. I mean I'm two of, you know great friends of mine who comment all the time. Um, you know I'm gonna call out his old channel named Davey Loses Weight um, and then Miss Julie Janae. Um, they've I've really become really good friends with both of them, um, but now kind of expanding that into the uh, VSG community, um, talking to more people. And so, for those who know me from my old from my account from this channel, I've adjusted it just a little bit. So it says, you know, VSG spike. So, what does that mean? For those of you that don't don't uh, know, VSG just stands for vertical sleeve gastrectomy which is the, you know, vertical sleeve, the gastric sleeve um, procedure that I plan on having. Um, Spike is kind of an old nickname. Uh, I mean, a lot of people know, you know, especially a lot of my family back in Ohio would just call me Lewan, which is short for my last name, Lewandowski. Um, but Spike is actually um, a friend of mine in Toledo. Her mother, when I first met her, Look, I guess based on how I looked at the time, I don't couldn't tell you what, but she just kind of said, "Okay, you look like you look like somebody who would be named Spike," and I'm like, uh, "Okay, <laughs> thank you." I think so. It, the name kind of just stuck. Um, and it's just become a fun nickname for me, especially with that group of people. So it's always been just kind of one of those additional nicknames of mine that I figured would be uh, fun to turn this into as far as my updated channel name. So VSG Spike is what you'll see as far as my channel name going forward. Um, but just, especially this weekend, um, we went out of town, um, just for a short, about two and a half hours away from here. It's a nice short little drive, fun. We get to visit with some family we haven't seen in a while. Just, you know, some of the, during some of the quiet moments, especially when I'm driving and Ryan and Scarlett are sleeping in the car, um, just give me a lot of time to really reflect and realize, you know, this is, you know, a lot that has already happened, but even more that's about to happen, that I'm, I guess, excited for, I, I'm very excited for it. I'm excited, I'm nervous, I'm anxious. Um, and at the same time, just kind of that overwhelming, I mean, I, w I wish I didn't have to go through this. Um, I mean, 
mean, I don't, I can't imagine there are a lot of people who, I mean, ha there's some sort of excitement with having it done, I guess, but not excited over the fact that, hey, this is what I'm having done, you know, part of me wishes, obviously, that other things had worked, other things would have worked, you know, in, over the long term, that, you know, I wouldn't have, had to have gotten to this point, I mean, I'm grateful that, obviously, I have this, um, you know, to use and, and to, to take advantage of. And I plan on doing the right thing and taking advantage of it the right way. Uh, it's funny because, I mean, I, you know, some, you know, obviously mostly been filming from the car or down in the uh, family room, but back here upstairs in our uh, bedroom, this is one, you know, last, last time I filmed this was either like my first or second, you know, video talking about this back in like the late winter. So it's kind of interesting. So, it's a lot that's been on my mind, um, a lot that will be on my mind, especially this week um, and next, you know, obviously depending on how soon I get a decision back. Once I get a decision back, um, and I talk with the coordinator about a time, and once I get a date, I'll have an, I will put out an update video that day or the day after. Um, so, you'll know shortly after I know. Um, I think again... Still something, as I mentioned very early on, uh, especially for those of you who are friends of mine on Facebook, I'm not saying anything on any other form of social media. I hardly say anything on my Twitter. I have a Twitter account, but I hardly use it. Um, but Facebook, I'm not saying anything there. Um, I'm, I'm keeping this to a very minimum amount of people that uh, are aware, especially my family. Um, not that they're not supportive of, they would be supportive of this, and I know that they would. Um, being as far as away as I am from where my my side of the family lives, and where I grew up in Ohio, it's about an eight-hour drive from where I live. So, very rarely do, you know, they come out and see me. We come out, we come out there and visit them more often, usually several, you know, two, three, four times a year. Um, but this year, we've really held back on visiting so I can build up some time off for recovery, and then, you know, what this is really, you know, as far as letting them know would be kind of a, I guess a pseudo, you know, kind of a reveal to them at Christmas time, um, especially with my dad, um, he's always been supportive of me, he's always been proud of what I've done as far as exercising and working out and, you know, making right decisions, and it'll be very interesting, I'm excited really to kind of see what his reaction will be. Because if, like I said, if things go well, September 23rd, if I have the surgery then, we're looking at, you know, damn near three months exact to, you know, Christmas. So it'll give me a good time, you know, post-op to see, you know, where I'm at during, at that three-month mark. And then a good kind of, you know, hey, I've been three months, you know, post-op on this reveal kind of, you know, situation with them. Um, so I won't, really won't be saying anything there until, um, I won't, really won't be putting anything out on Facebook, um, or until Christmas, or shortly after Christmas. Um, a few of my friends know, um, uh, obviously, like I said, this is really the only social outlet that I'm putting it, putting, you know, this out on. Um, so if, you know, family sort goes searching for it, if in, in any way, shape, or form, if they find it, then they find it. So be it. I mean, it's not like it's under lock and key to them, but, um, you know, just trying not to make, put it out there too much at all, I should say, on Facebook. Um, and another part of that with not, with, especially with my dad not knowing, uh, my wife, Ryan, is, she, uh, she's, you know, she understands that I don't want to tell them especially my dad, but with me going under major surgery, she's like, how am I not supposed to tell him as this is going on that you're going and having major surgery done? I said, you can't tell him. You cannot tell him. So she's making me, and I'm putting this out at least on video now. I don't look, include this because we'll probably set this up in the next week or two. She wants a signed, notarized document that I put together saying that I forbid my wife from contacting my father regarding this surgery and will not mention it to him until we re 
reveal it to him during the Christmas break. Um, Family-wise, there are really two people that know. Um, my brother, Scott, and um, my grandmother. They're the only two that know. They've known since pretty much day one. Um, a lot of family members on Ryan's side, they know. Um, like I said, some immediate friends um, here in town, they know. And I'm pretty much leaving it at that. Um, so, I, um, I've enjoyed, kind of going back to the, with the VSG community, I, I've enjoyed you know starting to build up some talk and conversation with other members and you know seeing where they are in their journey. Many of them that I've seen so far, um, uh, I think Les and Sarah, uh, VSG Gooch Monster is another one that I saw. Um, those they're both well well into their post op, um, you know, journey adventure, if you will. So, just uh, kind of following along with them and seeing where they're at, and going back to some of their videos to where they were at the stage that I'm at now, um, as kind of a reference point, kind of just seeing, you know, you know, no realizing that a lot of what I'm thinking and feeling is very similar. Um, so, uh, I didn't want to make this too long, but as, as they often do, my videos tend to be a little bit longer. But um, I will definitely have an update video. Now that we're getting closer, um, I may have these up a little more often, maybe every week, maybe every other week at most. But I'll start having regular weekly updates, and then maybe even daily updates as we get to that last like week or so before the uh, actual surgery. So... Um, take it easy, guys, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.